off like this. Hold up. Are you gonna slide in? <laughs> okay. Dude, <laughs> that seven. <laughs> okay. We're sultry. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, my name is Olivia Rell. And I'm Chanel Sitara Viner. And we are Soul Tree. I forgot! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. Um, Can you tell the story? Do I have to tell it? Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah. back in the day... <laughs> well, first of all, we were soul tree as in, like, it, it had a different meaning. It was S-O-U-L-T-R-Y. And uh, when we were in a group with more girls, uh, we decided that was a good idea. But we wanted depth, and we wanted it to mean something so someone actually kind of just by accident was like, oh, is it Soul Tree? It was Brett. It was Brett. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Brett. And uh, so we were in a Zoomies and he said that and then she's like, yeah, that's sick. And she's like, we're like the branches and it kind of happened like that, I guess. And uh, yeah, we stuck to it and it was cool. And now we know why we've chosen that name. For different reasons. Not just because Brett said so. We love you, Brett, but we also... And our own reasons. Um, I like everything. Um, my father's always been a really big uh, inspiration because he listens to every music. He listens to country, he listens to rock, he listens to alternative. Anything that, you know, the singer really put a lot of passion and soul into their song, that's when he can appreciate it. And I kind of learned slowly um, as I was young that, you know, I appreciate all types of music as long as. I feel like they put a lot of effort into it and I can hear the soul in a song. It's not just soul music as in neo soul or jazz or R&B. That's not the only thing that's soulful. I find that in every song, what makes it great is that someone has soul and passion and you can feel it. And it's not just like a soul because, oh, you're black so you've got soul. Like, no, it's like a, you know, it's just something that I feel every great singer has. Like an inspirational part. So we look. Yeah. <laughs> David's Don't like, laugh, oh, David. she talks too much. <clears throat> Jill Scott is one of my favorites, uh, hands I down. Know you already knew that. I know that. Um, music soul child's big. Um, oh, that's really hard. Um, sometimes I, you know, I find a favorite for a while, and then I move to the next. But the two that have stuck are, are Music Soul Child and Jill because I grew up with that music and it's always been my favorite feel good kind of jams. Yeah. I can't really answer that question just because I like so many different artists and I don't really focus on one thing for too long. I jump all over the place. So like I'll listen to like Little Brother, like and then I'll listen to Lauren Hill, you know, mm -hmm. or I listen to some Jill Scott and Alicia Keys. Mm -hmm and then listen to like Miles Davis or Freddie Hubbard. So it's like, I don't have a favorite. Yeah, it's, yeah. that's usually a hard question. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a really hard question. Cause there's so many great artists out there. David! Wait, David's one of my favorites. He's one of my favorites. Get in there, buddy. Come in here. 
Get some love. Okay. Hi. Okay. How's it going? I'm Dave Moore and I'm chilling with Soul Tree. You know. And my favorite artist is Engelbert Humperdinck. No, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> it's it's, it's honestly it very true. It's difficult to like narrow down who your biggest influences are or who you like love the most. Mm -hmm. But I like anything that has like soul and honesty, and that like goes that that travels through many different artists. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so it's not really like an artist that I'm looking for, but it's like the artistic creativity that each individual has in certain moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a pet peeve? Uh, yeah, like one thing that you just hate. Not even in music, just... In general? Yeah. A pet peeve? Oh my god. I hate... I hate... Okay, the, everyone's gonna hate me for saying that I hate this, but I don't like the rain at all. And I don't like, uh, like worms and slugs. Those creep me out. Do you know how good worms are for the soil? I Which know, but I just, I can't, like, wrong when wrong you see them, when it's raining and you see them, I, I freak out. I feel bad for them. That's like, I'm, I'm paranoid. My words. I'm paranoid. That's the one thing that's See, like, I would go and I would pick up a worm and I'd dig a hole and put it back in and the ground. And when somebody, when somebody <laughs> tells me something, doesn't ask me. That's like, the biggest one, probably. Mm. Yeah. If someone doesn't say, hey, look, can you do this? Or, hey, <clears throat> you know, and they go, do this. I, I get so mad. Can you make me a sandwich? Make me a sandwich! Which one do you like better? The more <laughs> aggressive one. No. I, I honestly, when I, when I will not listen to somebody if they're just like, you know, too commanding. I just, I automatically feel, I don't know. I feel I have to, I have to be a little more defensive. What about when people chew loudly beside you? When you're eating food? That bothers me. When I, like, if when I'm like, eating food like, with like, them, if the food's good, I won't hear that because I'm just in my own bliss. You're like, oh, yeah. No, but they're making sounds they're like, mm. and they're like, it's weird. Go over there and do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. My name is Olivia Rell. And I'm Chanel Sitar Minor. And we are Soul, Soul Tree. Tree. Okay. You did it this time. Thank God. I did. <laughs> Magic. Eat. <laughs> Thank you, brother Jason. Thank you, thank you very much.